Welcome back to Server Factory. My name is Paul, and today we will be taking a quick look at Solidimes, formerly Intel Industry First QLC 3D NAND SSD. Solidime released two different SKUs in this range, the D5P4320 and the D5P4420. The difference between the P4320 and the P4420 is purely endurance, with the P4420 having a sequential write up to 24.6 PBW and a random write up to 5.6 PBW, double that of the P4320. Solidime designed this drive from the ground up to be an incredibly versatile workstation drive. Both available SKUs are available in capacities up to 7.68 terabytes, allowing the drive to be utilized for density focused applications. This is primarily as a result of the PCIe interface that is utilized by these drives. The typical SATA based SSDs could not possibly achieve a similar performance per terabyte. These QLC SSDs, combined with Intel Optane technology, produce very impressive speeds of frequently accessed data. Talking more on Intel QLC, which stands for Quad Level Cell, is a form of memory that stores 4 bits per cell, allowing the entire drive to store more data. In addition to this, QLC drives cost less than the alternative TLC drive. If you would like us to go further into the differences between QLC and TLC in another video, let us know in the comments. Solidime kindly lent some P4420 drives to us for this review, so naturally we ran some benchmarks in order to see how they performed in different areas. In fact, we are the first people to benchmark this SSD on userbenchmark.com. We collected data to determine sequential read write mix speeds, random 4K read write mix speeds, and deep Q 4K read write mix speeds. Before we get into the numbers, we can see from our benchmark that the P4420 clocks in on average at 143% performance. This percentage can be converted into a ranking, with the fastest mainstream drives achieving a ranking of 100% on average. This puts into perspective the performance of this Solidime drive. Let's dive into the benchmarks. Firstly, we have the Sequential Read Write Max benchmark. As you can see from the data, the P4420 achieved a read average of 372 megabytes per second, a write average of 962 megabytes per second, a very impressive figure, a mixed write of 612 megabytes per second, and an average sustained write of 661 megabytes per second. Moving on to the random 4K tests, we have some interesting results. The read average hitting 13.9 megabytes per second, the write average at a whopping 212 megabytes per second, but the mix read speed was an average 24.7 megabytes per second. Our final bench deep Q 4K, which is a good gauge for enterprise drives, reveals the true strength of this drive. The DQ read average was 662 megabytes per second. The DQ write averaged 884 megabytes per second and peaked at almost 1 gigabytes per second. Finally, the DQ mixed average was 770 megabytes per second. For our benchmarks, we are expecting higher numbers, though it is likely that our benchmarking does not push enterprise drives as far as they can go. From Solidime's technical spec breakdown, we can see that both the P4320 and P4420 have a performance sealer much higher than we were able to push in house. That's not to say the P4420 didn't perform well in our testing, achieving very respectable performance levels. What's your thoughts on these QLC drives? 
let us know in the comments. And if you haven't seen our latest video, check it out here. If you would like to purchase anything we feature, please contact us for more information. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know. Thanks to Solidime for providing the drives for our tests, and we'll see you in our next video.